Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. One of my subscribers who is in a cold climate uh, finds that the poultice uh, cools down too quickly and in the absence of results she asked me whether my osteoarthritis bumps were hard or maybe soft. As you know, I always refer to my bumps as indurations, so they were really hard. But such nuances can escape people speaking other languages. But this is a good question because it refers to an additional problem that may arise in rheumatism, namely hypercalcification and hypocalcification. So we are going to see this a bit more in detail and after that uh, we'll see how the hot water bottle can be a powerful help to, for you. Salmon have used it a lot because more than anyone else he was aware we badly need a lot of heat and wherever we are. So far, we have seen um, as the causes of osteoarthritis, the cold, the blood stasis or capillary stasis, protein waste, diet. And so today we see another cause, namely calcium. Calcium, in the sense it may give hypercalcification or hypocalcification. Hypercalcification occurs when calcium is not eliminated enough from the body. It can then accumulate all over the body, for instance in the fingers, and where it is usually responsible for the deformities. There is hypocalcification when too much calcium is eliminated from the body. And so this gives a uh, hypotrophy. I didn't have that and so I didn't mention this. But it can also lead to osteopenia, osteoporosis, as is the case with me uh, in the lumbar and left hip, which I showed in video 27. So these are just two sides of the same problem, namely a problem of elimination, too much or too little. Calcium is excreted by the skin, the intestine and the kidneys. So with regard to the treatment, there is nothing new here. Healing is obtained through sweating and diet, mainly. So in my osteoarthritis bumps, calcium has melted like all other substances through the old straw poultices. When it comes to diet, I remind you that I have adapted my diet to treat osteopenia, moving from a low carb diet that triggers autophagy the self-cleaning mechanism of the body and by which the body auto-eats itself, recycles all the garbage. Because uh, absence of sugar, absence of uh, insulin in the blood. So I moved from this diet, which is, in my opinion, the best for uh, for uh, osteoarthritis. So I moved from that diet to a whole food plant-based diet and which is high in carbohydrates and in the bone builder boron. And therefore will store rather than eliminate the calcium because there is some insulin. Not high peaks, just what is needed, you know, for you to store the calcium. The details have been given in video 31. So this being said, I'd like to draw now, now your attention to another helpful tool, namely the hot water bottle. 
So if you find that the poultice becomes cold too quickly, use that button to keep it hot. Simply wrap your finger with the poultice around in the, in the water bottle. I guess it will be at least as efficacious as a cushion that I use to maintain the poultice. Uh, to now, I didn't think of using the bottle because I read Salmonov properly only recently. But he used the bottle, the hot water bottle, quite a lot. And in different ways, and to make the treatment, his treatment, consisting of the salmonal pads, even more efficacious. So, for instance, he advised to put the hot water bottle on the heart to improve the blood circulation, or on the liver to help <coughs> cleaning the blood, because all the blood passes through the liver or on the thorax to open the pulmonary capillaries and increase the intake of oxygen. Uh, the hot water bottle should be 60 degrees Celsius and may stay 20 minutes. <clears throat> on the liver it may even stay one hour. And this can be done daily. One last remark about the causes. As I said, Earlier, in my videos, I especially stressed the cold, the impaired blood circulation, protein, based on the diet. Today, I'd like to remind the breathing is also very important. So, Salmonov says that in the presence of osteoarthritis or rheumatism, you should always think of three things, capillary stasis, uh, renal failure and deficient breathing. Deficient breathing means lack of oxygen supply with the consequence that follows insufficient oxidation, insufficient combustions uh, of the nutrients that must be assimilated and of the metabolites that must be eliminated. <clears throat> In my videos I mentioned singing and physical exercises to improve the breathing, but today with the hot water bottle, the hot water bottle uh, as a, a very efficacious means, all people can use it, even people uh, who can't do physical exercises. And this can be combined with breathing exercises. <clears throat> so I remind you of the breathing, the importance of the breathing, because I was aware my singing played a role in the time I left in exile spontaneously. So, people in cold climates should not think they can't treat their bums successfully. Heat and water is all that is needed, and the aim of both the, the Kneipp Oatstropolis and Salmanov's Buds is precisely to provide you with salutary heat. <clears throat> in the form of water, preferably, because we have an intimate relationship with water. We come from water and there is water uh, in our organism, in our body. <clears throat> so they offer you a spa at home. A spa that you control. We can stop the treatment whenever we want. Especially Salmanov is aware we may need this heat all the year long and not only during a two weeks cure in a health resort during the summer. <clears throat> uh, 
He says we are deficient in heat <coughs> since a long time. This dates from the time of the great flood, in the flood in the Bible. The reason is the earth has cooled after the flood. Before the flood, the earth was covered with tropical vegetation till the poles, and man has long lived in a greenhouse temperature. But he failed to adapt. The only way he adapted was through his brain, inventing fire and housing and clothes. So it is easy to understand that the more one leaves the tropes, the greater the risk to suffer from the low temperatures. But even in warmer climates, especially during morbid states, we still need a lot of heat. And with this increased heat input, comes an increase of combustions in cells and tissues, an opening of the closed capillaries, an intensification of vital processes. We already discussed this in previous videos. But even more important is this is totally safe. Unlike a medication that you swallow and can't reverse and can't uh, reverse the effects of the medication, you can stop a water application. Unlike a fever produced by an infection, and that may mean a death sentence if temperatures reach 42 degrees Celsius, the heat provided through hot water applications creates an artificial fever that is salutary. There is not any energy expenditure of the part of the body. And even when 42 degrees Celsius is reached, it remains totally safe. So, as you can see, I already bought the yellow bath and will start somewhere in the winter. It's still too hot now, it's still summer. But I'm intended to work with the buds progressively. First the hand, see what it gives, see if I uh, have no problems with the product and uh, then I'll go further. So I also really highly recommend reading this book. It is translated in many languages and so there is no reason for you to not understand anything of what I'm telling in my videos. Just read this book. There is the big, is the, I think the most uh, famous author of uh, rheumatism both in uh, pathology as well as treatment. Well, that's it for today, guys. My next video will be about the results of the next bone scan. And my research will uh, focus from now on on foods, because some foods seem to have the magical power to trigger autophagy. autophagy. I might also give you my uh, monthly carbs totals. I'm still uh, checking them for now. Because I told I was always on the minimum of the fork, of the range of valid values, but I noticed that sometimes I was a bit lower. So if you have other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching and till the next video, bye bye.